let's create a scene with basic HRI lighting and examine it. So I'm going to uh, load the file, which I'm going to use for this demo, and the uh, link to this file will be in the video description. I am going to go to rendered mode. And so I just want everyone to understand the connection between uh, the world's node, uh, which is currently controlled by the single color and the lighting. So you can see that uh, the color behind everything changes when I do this, uh, as well as lighting. So our goal is to create HDRI lighting. So for that, we're going to go and press Shift A, type an environment texture, connect this to the color, and then we're going to find an HDRI map. So, and right now uh, we have uh, very good lighting, right? But uh, the lake itself and uh, the mountains are kind of getting on the way. So we, in order to be consistent with the scene of our, uh, with, with the style of our scene, uh, we really want just a flat color or a gradient behind it. So what we will do, we will create a color ramp. And then we're going to create what's called a light pass. And now we're going to mix our color ramp with our HDRI and for um, a mask, we're going to use this camera ray connected to uh, fractions. So, and yeah, we also have to uh, switch out those colors. So, and what is happening right now is we are getting uh, an HDRI uh, created uh, shadows and lighting, but then background behind the trains is controlled by this gradient. So, and I can now go ahead, you know, and adjust the gradient to something uh, that I want. And in this case, I just want it to be a single color. So I'm going to um, delete this little slider. And so, yeah, so here we go. So here we have background shader that have two channels, one to control background color and another to control uh, the lighting that is created by an HDRI texture. Alrighty, hope you guys learned something and uh, please like the video and subscribe and I will talk to you in the next uh, tutorial. Bye.